everybody. Welcome back to the Casper Planetarium Podcast. My name's Rod. I'll be your presenter today. Now, last Friday, I talked about the spring or vernal equinox and what that means for where the sun is in the sky. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about what that means for our planet. So I set our simulator here for March 19th, the vernal equinox, and we all know that the Earth rotates on its axis. That's why we have day and night. But as you can see here, the north pole of the Earth, this blue line, and the south pole of the Earth, the yellow line, that's the rotational axis. And you'll notice it's not straight up and down. The Earth is tilted, 23 and a half degrees, and on the vernal equinox, neither hemisphere is tilted towards the sun or away from the sun. We're leaning kind of sideways. So that means that the sun is directly over the Earth's equator, the sun is about halfway up the sky, and we have equal hours of day and night. And what we're going to do is we're going to run time fast forward from the spring or vernal equinox to what we call the summer solstice. So let's start time forward here. Now the, in, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, summer solstice happens in June, on June 21st. So we're going to go to June 21st here. And when we get to the 21st, you'll notice that the northern hemisphere where we live, the blue line, is tilted towards the sun. The southern hemisphere is leaning away from the sun. So that means when our hemisphere is having summer, the southern hemisphere is having winter. And so what that means for us is that the sun is very high in the sky, the sunlight rays are very direct, and the days are longer. Now, here's something interesting. It doesn't have anything to do with the distance from the sun. We're actually farther from the sun in summer than we are in winter. Go look that up if you don't believe me. It has to do with the fact that the sunlight rays are very direct on our hemisphere. As we keep going, we're going to keep going until we get around to um, the fall or autumnal equinox, which happens in September. And you'll notice again that the hemispheres are tilted neither towards nor away from the sun. And we can actually see the sunlight directly over the equator. As we keep going, we're going to keep going from fall to winter. And we're going to notice that as we get into December, the uh, winter solstice happens on December 21st, we're going to notice that, there we go, that our hemisphere is tilted away from the sun. That means the sun is very, very low in the sky, the days are very short, and the sunlight is very indirect. That's why it's cold in wintertime. It has nothing to do with distance. So if we keep going, we keep orbiting around the sun, we're going to come back to the vernal equinox in March of 2021. And you'll notice that we're back to the point where the hemisphere is not tilted towards the sun and not tilted away. You also notice here that this, as we went around, let's speed this up, let's speed this up and just watch the Earth, that the blue line stays pointed in the same direction all the time. It points to a very special star in our sky, the North Star, otherwise called Polaris. And if you'd like to learn a little bit more about that, we'll talk about that in tomorrow's podcast. So keep looking up, get outside, and tune in tomorrow. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.